Hi, good afternoon from Amsterdam. My name is Ivana. Oh no, you cannot see the time. It is almost 4.30 p.m. I just woke up from a nap. I was literally, literally, literally <laughs> just working today. And then I felt tired and I took a nap and I just woke up and now I'm hungry again. So let me just make some food and we can talk. Oh, but there we go, lunch. So these are just rice crackers with hummus and tomato. I didn't want to go outside, you know, because it's cold and everything. But I think I'm going to have to do that more these days because I have a vitamin D deficiency in general. So that's why I really, really like sunny countries and I don't have to think about it and I get enough sun. But over here, it's so hard. Like now it's almost 5 p.m. and it's already dark outside. So yeah, I think that's what what's making me so tired and make me want to sleep like a lot but whatever nom 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 mm. oh god <laughs> currently making eggplant curry so i just fry some onions and uh, added masala and eggplant going to add these in soon i have some rice from yesterday and veggie burgers so that's going to be dinner there we go. I actually love chunks of tomato. I know in India they cook a lot with tomato paste, but I like to taste the tomato. Well, the taste, like, I like chunks. I like chunks in my peanut butter. I like chunks in my cookies. I like chunks in my curry. You need to have chunks in the curry, my friend. Chunks in the curry. Yeah, I know I look like shit. I promise I took a shower and everything. I just don't feel like doing my hair or makeup or anything. But something that I wanted to tell you, and this is really funny, uh, well, for my Dutchies too, because you will probably, probably <laughs> recognize this. So let me tell you something about Dutch people and their pronunciation of foreign words. There is a certain Dutch accent, and you will see it in the Dutch accent, oh, in the accent challenge video. I think it's in most videos, the Dutch accent. He killed it! He killed it so, so bad in English. But there are also certain surname words we use in Dutch. And Dutch people have a really funny way of pronouncing it. So Stefan, my little Dutch boyfriend, <laughs> who is currently pointing a middle finger at me. <laughs> he just tried to diss me or whatever. So he was like, yeah, you like these pokus. Pokus is a surname word, <laughs> but Dutch people pronounce it as pokus. <laughs> Just like they say bara instead of bara. Bara. And also ro uh, roti, you know, in the word roti, they say roti. You want some roti? <laughs> and it's so funny. I'm sorry, Dutch people, if I'm offending you, but it's really, really funny. You, you don't, you're not doing anything wrong. Everybody's trying their best, but it is funny. Really, how can you get offended by a girl who cannot pronounce the R in English? How? How? Rural. <sighs> can't say that. So, you can make fun of me, I can make fun of you. That, that's the way my friendships work. Otherwise, we can't be friends. One chips. <laughs> oh, some of you guys had never heard of vegetarian chicken. So this is plant-based chicken. It is made in a lab, of course, very artificial, but um, it looks like chicken, it's a, it has a texture of chicken and it almost tastes the same like chicken. Like for me, it's almost too real because I don't eat meat because I hate the flavor. Um, and this almost puts me off because it tastes too real. But yeah, we have fake chicken in the Netherlands. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. Oh, the rice is really good actually. If I may say so myself. Mmm. Tastes really good. I should make fried rice more often. Well, well, well. Look at me being brave enough to step outside. It is cold, but I need to go to the grocery store because Stefan has been sick all day. And he wants drop. A.K.A. licorice. Because that will make him feel better. He loves it so much. But, uh, as you've probably seen by now in the Devani's video, um a lot of the foreigners don't like drop <laughs> or licorice also there will be a video up with kabir where i let him try it it is freaking hilarious i've been edit editing that video today i die every time an indian person try uh, try tries 
tries to drop. It is hilarious. Uh, I am still pissed off about losing the footage where I uh, let everyone at Whistling Studios in Mumbai try to drop. And Pralant Kakai was in there too. We're not talking about it. <laughs> I did still had some licorice left when I was leaving and I planned to make a new video at the airport letting uh, Indian people try drop but uh, because I was late and enjoying the lunch so much I didn't um, well I didn't have time to do it so next time I come to India and yes of course I'm going back to India in 2017 I just don't know when uh, I will take drop again with me and then let more Indian people try it because we need to introduce this to the world <laughs> Um, by the way, uh, some of you guys have been asking, are you going to watch Bollywood movies again? Yes, yes, yes. Starting in January, every Sunday again. This shopping mall is seriously so spooky at night. There's no one here. Look at this. Can you see this contrast with Indian malls? There's no one here. Here you go. Does this make you happy? Yes. Here you go. <laughs> wait, what is it? Try this. Okay, you cannot smell it. Wait, 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 wait. A Bollywood movie, and I watched it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting rid of it too because you can find it online. You don't need to save things 